you and Maya with your goals together as you look into next season? I don't know. I think I'm not sure how how uh, committed she is on pushing her her uh, her limits, her level. I think she wants to chill more. She should. Yeah, she should. Uh, she should enjoy the time that she has now, being healthy. She's proved it all. Um, I don't know if I was her, it would be kind of like a, a check on pushing and just switching to enjoying, which could lead to even better performance. I feel like right now I don't have like one thing that I'm um, working towards. Um, Biggest wave ever surfed? Yeah, exactly. I'm not working towards that. No? <laughs> no, not, not, no, not really. What do you think that means for your guys' partnership? Um, I think our partnership will continue in a sense that we will always surf together and, and uh, be out there together. As far as partnering up and, and having similar goals, I think my goals are a little bit different. You think probably less likely that you guys will be toe yeah. partners moving forward? Yeah, my goals are uh, very ambitious, so I have to find <laughs> very ambitious partner as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure yet who that will be. Well, so she said that she believes you were the person that will take the the sport to the next level, that will, you know, really make the the jump in a significant way. I've surfed the biggest of the biggest waves consistently for the last decade. Um, and I think what limits us the most is equipment. Um, it's the lack of technology in our sport. There are bigger waves to surf. Uh, and I think that's my next chapter is to, to really surf the biggest of the biggest waves. The forecasts that we have are sometimes twice the size of, of, uh, of what we're surfing. Really? I don't know if that translates into waves twice the size, but I'm sure there's waves bigger than, than what we're surfing, much bigger. But so in, in US you know, metrics, instead of a 75 foot wave, it could be a hundred plus feet. Yeah, and not just surfing it, not just like riding down the wave, but performing on it. That's, I think the, that's my ambition. I think we have seen waves of that potential here, but we just haven't ridden it yet. I'm not sure if I'm the person to ride it. I'm happy to help Seb ride it. And if I just end up being lucky and I get something too, then that's great. But. I like to be involved in the process. I don't know if I'm gonna be the one to let go of the rope and and uh, go down that wave and... Why not? I wouldn't risk my life for it, you know? I'd rather live another day. There's a lot of, a lot of moving parts to consider and uh, some take a lot of effort and obviously having, having the team that's motivated to do that, which is very, very few people in the world that actually wanna, wanna go out and, and and put themselves there, right. um, and technology. Like right now, the jet skis are not capable to handle the white water, for example. So if you fall, you're not going to get rescued. Um, the rescue system, we don't have any sensor-triggered airbags, so you have to pull your cords. Um, and those vests, yeah, sometimes they stay on. Sometimes, if there's enough force, they they could come off. So that's all things that need to be uh, done 100% before. That's the reason we haven't surfed those waves yet. Yeah. To get into the wave, have a board that's fast enough, have a jet ski or some towing device that's fast enough. Will it be a jet ski? I don't know. Do you think that could all be figured out in time for next season? That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Well, maybe not done for next season, but established within the next season.